So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 19th Angular tutorial in which we're going to discuss about what services are in Angular and how pretty much we made use of one service in the last login tutorial we did. So services you can think of essentially are required whenever you want to share the data among a lot of components and basically directives and all that parts of mod of your particular module right so let's just say if you're creating any e-commerce website so what you would want is that the cart of the user is uh, always the same on all the pages and is always updated right so for that what we can do is we can actually create a cart service now what the service would be is that it would be available to all of your declarations which is your modules and components plus it would always be a single instance at least that's what we prefer so that whenever you make change to a service in one component or make change to a variable or any method or any property in service that change is immediately reflected globally to that service and any other component accessing that thing would reflect the same change right so to create a service what we need is uh, go to your angular command line and just wait a second i guess i have that right here so we have our second terminal running now and if we take a look then what you can do to create a service is pretty much say ng generate service and then your service name right what which in our case was uh, the user right so you just have to write user here and it would create a user service now what we did in the user service is that we pretty much generated created these two methods which is which are just set user logged in and get user logged in and uh, this is a very basic service example with uh, pretty much just one variable in working because we are not making use of this private username right so what we are doing is uh, just setting a boolean value to a service which is accessible in all the components right so that we can know that the if the user is logged in or not so now let's just say if i want to find out if the user is logged in right so what i'm gonna do is go to my header component and right here i want to make use of this service now first thing you want to do to make your service usable in component is you want to go to the main module which hosts the component which in our case is just app module and you have to add the service inside providers right just like we have user service right here once you do ng generate your service and your service name here and hit enter it would create a new service but it would not add it to the providers so you have to do that manually and this user service is the same name which is this class name right so we go to our app module and uh, once you have done that this tells angular that the service is now accessible to all the components in this module so once you have done that you can just go to your module file and again you would need to import the service so you're going to say import user service from user.service right so now you have access to this particular service and it should be actually just a directory back not this one there we go so now you have access to this user service but in order to make use of that in your methods or wherever you want what you have to do is actually include this using dependency injection now what that is is pretty much that inside constructor what we do is we say private anything like my service or my awesome service and we declare this as a user service and what happens with this this is typescript stuff going on so what this does is that it tells angular that uh, we are expecting a user service inside constructor with the name my awesome service so you do not need to do a lot of things in here you can even leave the constructor blank so what this will essentially tell angular is that put this user service inside my awesome service when calling the constructor of this class so now you have access to my awesome service right here 
with this dot my awesome service and then right here you can pretty much get any method or any property associated with the class as long as it is public right so yeah we can pretty much say console.log this dot um, get user logged in and we would just say is user logged in and just like that so if we take a look now and just hit the console you see that we get it's recompiling and uh, I don't know let's just try it one more time okay so now you can see that we get is the user logged in as false so if I log in I guess it was admin admin and hit login and I reload this page again because we are logged in and we get is the user log okay so obviously we are not storing the state of the user right now as of um, with the routing so we would pretty much just go to our home page only and would go like admin admin and pretty much we could just say that uh, this thing right here inside our dashboard component as well right so again we need to make use of the same name which we have used in the dependency injection so now if you see if the user login is gets we get false and we write admin admin and hit login you see that we get the user logged in as true right so yeah that is pretty much how services work and that's how you can create a very basic service which is our just a simple login state and you could actually just share some data as well among the services apart from just the boolean value so we can say set user logged in username as a let's just say admin this dot username and we can make this public so that we do not need to have a setter for this method so we can say something like uh, this dot uh, name is a username and then we can create a name in here right is uh, let's just say anonymous as default so again we need to make use of my awesome service and I guess we are in the wrong file because we would like to do that inside our dashboard file right so we can say name as anani and then we can set this dot name to this dot user dot username right so now what we can do is inside our dashboard file hello and what we have name right so yep and now if we go like admin admin and hit login you would see that we get hello admin so we have successfully shared some data from the service to our component right and again this name would be accessible inside our header component or any other component for any other uh, page or part of web page right so yeah that is pretty much how services work in angular and that's all you pretty much need to know right now and uh, yeah so that is all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one